Hello everybody and welcome back to Trucking USA. So today we're going to be looking at getting our first truck. So I did ask people what they would like to see, I uh, didn't get much response. So we're just going to go with the standard truck that we picked at the beginning. And we're just going to go for the Mac Anthem, seeing though it is the latest truck in the game. So first off, we're going to go to the bank. Now we have got $40,000 already in the account, so I don't think we need the 400000 I think we're just going to go for the 100000 and pay 1800 a day. And that should uh, do us to get our first truck, so that gives us $143,956. We'll go to the truck dealer and we'll get our first truck. So we've only discovered the Mac dealer so far. Um, we haven't discovered any other, so we're, we're a bit restricted to the Mac anyway. So, for the first one, we can get this delightful little day cab, Mac Anthem. So, if we have a bit of a look at the configure and see if there's anything that we can do to it. So, we can only get the day cab. So, we can have the short, short 6x4. Didn't seem to change anything then, actually, that. Let's have a look. What did that actually change? I didn't see anything. <laughs> and then we can have the short 6x2. So that adds the... Oh, uh, That gives you a bit more fuel. Gives you a bit more fuel. Right, we'll think we'll go with the short 6x2 on the chassis. And let's go for the... 395 engine? What does that bring us up to? 123. So obviously we've got to be careful because we only have 143,000 available. So we'll stick with the 395. That gives us... Then again, we could go for the 415. That brings us to 124. Yeah, let's go for the 415. We want a 12-speed. We've retired it if they have one available. Oh, they don't. They only have a 13 speed and then 12 speed. Right, we're going to have to go for the 12 speed without a retarder for now. And then when one comes available, we will get it. Interior, we'll just keep it as standard. I'm not too fussed about it being tan at the moment. We can always change that later. So currently, we've got white, graphite, black, blue. Oh, that blue's nice. Red. I can go for custom for four and a half, but I ain't gonna be. I don't want to spend more money than we have to. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for this blue. This blue is really nice, I like that. Not the channel colours, but I like it. So anything we can get on here that's not gonna push our budget up too much. So we can have a beacon. I think we'll have that. Sun visor. We can get a basic stun shield. Yeah, that'll do. Keep the sun out of our eyes. Front mirrors. Uh, let's go for paint. We've got to do them individually. Okay. That's a bit different, but yeah, we'll have that. Hood. Oh, we're definitely having the Bulldog. We've got to have that. Oh, it's already got the silver one on it. Could go for the gold one, but... Ah, uh, sorry. Gold, let's go for it. It's unnecessary money, but let's spend it. So we can't upgrade any of the front yet. There's nothing in particular on there to change. What's down here? The exhaust. So currently we've got the standard. What's a single? We've got a single one-sided exhaust. Five grand. That brings us to 128. Yep, let's have that. Aluminium D-shaped tank. Ooh. Hmm. Not sure if I prefer that or the original. Be quite fair. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll keep it. Mug guards. Let's go for the painted so it looks pretty. And other than that, it is literally just tyres. 
Do you know one thing though I have noticed between Euro Truck and American Truck, there's no sort of like road rating on any of the American Truck tyres. It doesn't seem to have any kind of road rating on anything. I don't quite understand why they haven't implemented that yet, but I suppose it'll come eventually. Uh, and rims, I think we'll just keep them as standard for now. Like I said, I don't want to be spending too much money. But I just want to get it customised to an extent. And then got some mud flaps. Uh, we'll keep them as the original Mac, I think. Got anything over here? So, side deflectors, can't have anything there. Handrail, standard. Door handles, standard. I don't want any flags on the truck. <laughs> Headlights, standard. Yeah, it's all standard. Um, I don't think we're going to go for the oversized yet. I don't think let's have a look. Mm, nah, I don't like that. Not going for that just yet, anyway. That's pretty much it on there, and I don't think we're having any cabin accessories unless we can change, like, the steering wheel or whatever. But, nah, I think I keep the classic Mac. I like the Mac steering wheel. I like to keep things pretty much basic like that. I don't think we need anything else at this second. Yep, yeah, that will do. So, in total, we're going to be spending $129,735. Let's purchase. Thank you for buying your first truck. Please come again. So, we've now bought our first truck. We can now start doing some different deliveries. Look for some heavier loads and such. Hopefully it should be a lot more interesting in the game. So it's going to respawn us back at his garage. There we go. Outside of our headquarters. There we go. Let's have a look at our truck. Out in the open. I really do like this blue. This blue's really, it really pops. I don't know why, it just looks really good. Got a nice, uh, nice pop to it. Really does. But, anyway, right. Now we have our first truck. Let's find a little job for us to do. So, we'll have a look in the freight market. It's reset us back to our hometown of Portland. Let's see what we have. So, we have some mooring boys they're different yeah that's a different load i've not seen them before we've done scrap cars before ventilation shaft you know what i think we'll take those mooring boys and go and get them so f1 Oh, we don't have a sat nav in our truck, do we? Hmm, maybe I should have done, gone for the upper version of the truck. Never considered that. Get it started. Never considered the fact we don't have a sat nav in the truck. Uh, right, so. Oh, wrong one. Right, we'll have to keep the onboard sat nav on for now. So, ooh, the steering wheel came off. So, we're going to make his way over there. We'll pick it up. Please enjoy the video.
Okay, guys, and we are here. Pretty much in the spot that we need to be in. Oh, well, seeing though this is now our truck, we'll put the handbrake on, kill the engine, and drop the trailer. Like always. So, for our first job, I'm not going to go through everything too much, but we've got 6,000 base, 244 XP base, got some bonuses. So, in total, we've got 7,305 and 317 XP, and a little bit towards level 6. But yeah, for our first video, video? Our first trip <laughs> in our first... Uh, our first trip in our new truck, I don't think that was too bad to be fair. Um I know it was a bit of a different video than what we normally than what I normally do. Um normally I just do it as a whole time lapse. But I think because we were buying a truck it was well worth not having it so much time lapse this time. So we'll get twenty one thousand back in the bank. We've got to pay off the hundred thousand dollar loan. And hopefully we can do that sooner rather than later and then we can start building the company but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you all again soon and bye for now